thought we'd read you a little story today because we've done our game session and talking session and we need to get our story in as well. So I've chosen Five Minutes Peace by Jill Murphy, which is such a lovely story. and might make you want to try and get five minutes peace in the bath at the end. The children were having breakfast. This was not a pleasant sight. Oh, look at the chaos that is being caused. We've even got the elephant with the cereal balls on their head. <laughs> Mrs. Large took a tray from the cupboard. She set it with a teapot, a milk jug, her favourite cup and saucer, and a plate of marmalade toast and leftover cake from yesterday. Mm, mm, mm. She stuffed the morning paper into her pocket and sneaked off towards the door. <gasps> I wonder what she's trying to do. I'd be trying to escape that madness. Where are you going with that tray, Mum? asked Laura. To the bathroom, said Mrs Large. Why? asked the two other children because I want five minutes peace from you lot, said Mrs. Large. That's why, can you see even here, there's a broken eggshell on the floor. Can we come? asked Lester as they trailed up the stairs behind her. Can you see them following in a line? No, said Mrs. Large, you cannot. What shall we do then? asked Laura. You can play downstairs said Mrs. Large, by yourselves and keep an eye on the baby. I'm not a baby, muttered the little one. Mrs. Large ran a deep hot bath. Oh, it looks lovely. She emptied half a bottle of bath foam into the water, plonked on her bath hat and got in. Can you see her bath hat here? It's got lots of flowers on it. She poured herself a cup of tea and laid back with her eyes closed. Oh, I wonder if you can imagine that at home. It was heaven. Uh oh. Can I play you my tune? asked Lester. Mrs. Lay opened one eye. Must you? she asked. I've been practicing, said Lester. You told me to. Can I please, just for one minute? Oh, go on then, sighed Mrs. Large. So Lester played. He played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star three and a half times. Oh, this doesn't sound very relaxing. In came Laura. Can I read you a page from my reading book, she asked. No, Laura, said Mrs. Large. Go on, all of you off downstairs. You let Lester play his tune, said Laura. I heard you like him better than me. It's not fair. Oh, don't be silly, Laura, said Mrs. Large. Go on then, just one page. So Laura read. She read four and a half pages of Little Red Riding Hood. Her bath does not look so relaxing anymore. In came the little one with a trunk full of toys. For you, he beamed, flinging them all in the, to the bath water. Flinging means to throw something. Oh, thank you, dear, said Mrs. Large weakly. I don't think she wanted all those toys in her bath. Can I see the cartoons in the paper? Asked Laura. Can I have the cake? Asked Lester. Can I get in with you? Asked the little one. Mrs. Large groaned. Oh, why do you think she's groaning? I think I know why, because her nice relaxing bath is not so relaxing anymore. In the end, they all got in. Oh, the little one was in such a hurry that he even forgot to take off his pajamas. Oh my goodness, can you see them all in the bath? Mrs. Large does not look very impressed. She got out. She dried herself, put on her dressing gown and headed for the door. Where are you going now, Mum? asked Laura. 
To the kitchen, said Mrs. Lodge. Why? asked Lester. Because I want five minutes peace from you lot, said Mrs. Lodge. That's why. Oh dear. You see her frowning in that picture. <sighs> Off she went downstairs where she had three minutes and 45 seconds of peace before they all came to join her. Oh, you see her reading a magazine, drinking her cup of tea. There they all are. We've got the recorder, the reading book, and the little one with his games as well. I hope that Mrs. Large gets more than five minutes peace when she tries that again. Fingers crossed. I hope you enjoyed my story today. Next week, we're going to be doing a little bit of story work on Thursday for World Book Day. So I hope you're ready to join me. See you later. Bye.